Hey adventurers and welcome back to Jim's EV Adventures for another episode of EV Bunk Blasters. Today we're tackling one of the biggest myths out there. One that has become the mantra of the anti-EV crowds and zealots. It goes something like this. Electric vehicles are just a passing fad. You know, they'll disappear like flip phones and fidget spinners. If you're still living in Boneheadville, then you're probably laughing now, but I'm here to tell you that the belief that EVs are a passing fad is 100% pure, unadulterated bunk. And today, we're gonna blast it wide open. We're gonna dive into the history of the modern EV starting around 2010 and look at the explosive growth in the USA and around the world. And then we're gonna break down battery production, how it's gotten faster and cheaper. Buckle up because the future's electric and nothing short of a nuclear war is gonna make it go away. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. For those of you who know, let's roll. For those of you with your heads in the sand, oh well, I guess you must like the taste of dirt. Let's go. Let's start by blasting the idea that EVs are some new untested trend. The modern EV revolution kicked off around 2010, and it's been a wild ride since then. Picture this, in 2008, gas prices were skyrocketing, climate change concerns were growing, the battery tech was finally ready to make EVs practical, and then enter the game changers. In 2008, Tesla delivered the Roadster, the first production EV to go over 200 miles on a single charge. It was a luxurious sports car that turned heads and proved EVs could be cool. Then, in 2010, the Nissan Leaf hit the scene in Japan and the U.S. It was a practical, affordable, all-electric family car with zero tailpipe emissions. That same year, the Chevy Volt, which was a plug-in hybrid, gave drivers the best of both worlds, electric for short trips, gas for longer ones. These weren't just cars, they were statements that EVs were ready for the masses. By 2012, Tesla dropped the Model S, a luxury sedan that could go 265 miles per charge and compete with gas-powered giants. By 2017, Chevrolet in introduced the Bolt EV, a fully electric compact SUV with almost 240 miles of range. That same year, global EV sales hit 1 million units. By 2020, we had reached 10 million plug-in EVs worldwide, and it wasn't a fad, it was a revolution, fueled by better batteries, government incentives, growing environmental awareness, and more importantly, people everywhere waking up to the propaganda being fed them by the fossil fuel cartels. And it wasn't just about cars. Companies like BYD in China were pushing electric buses, and countries like Norway started offering huge tax breaks to make EVs cheaper than gas cars. The groundwork was laid, and now EVs are here to stay. Now let's talk growth. If EVs were a fad, you would expect it to fizzle out, right? Wrong. EVs are growing faster than a TikTok dance trend. Let's take a look at the numbers and see what's really happening. In the USA, EV sales were just 17,000 in 2011, but by 2023, they hit over 1.4 million with a market share of 11.6 of new car sales, up from 7.3% in 2022. California is leading the change with nearly half of all US EV sales. Globally, it's even crazier. In 2010, there were about 22,000 EVs on the road worldwide, but by 2023 that number exploded to over 40 million, with China alone accounting for half that. Europe's not far behind with 11.8 million, and in 2024 global EV sales hit nearly 14 million cars. In 2025, we've seen a 35% growth in the first quarter as compared to 2024. That's not a trend, that's 
an explosion. Why the boom, you may ask? Well, it's a mix of government policies with the $7,500 tax credit here in the U.S., which will end in September, and the China trade-in schemes. But more importantly, it's better tech and more models. In 2025, Bloomberg predicts that EVs will make up 25% of new car sales in Europe and nearly 50% in China. Even emerging markets like Ethiopia are jumping in with 100,000 EVs deployed in 2024 after banning gas car imports. Fading fad? I don't think so. And it's not just cars. Electric buses, trucks, and even e-scooters are taking off. All you have to do is look on the sidewalks in most major cities. In 2023, EVs displaced almost 1 million barrels of oil per day. And by 2027, that's expected to hit 4 million barrels of oil per day. This is a global movement, and it's only going to get bigger as we move forward. Now let's get to the heart of EVs. That's the EV battery. The myth says that EVs won't last because batteries are too expensive and take forever to make. Well, let's blast that bunk with some cold, hard facts. Back in 2010, EV batteries cost over $1,100 per kilowatt hour. That's why early EVs like the Tesla Roadster were so pricey. But here's the kicker. By 2020, the average price pack dropped to just $137 per kilowatt hour. That's an 89% plunge. In China, some packs hit $100 a kilowatt hour or less. In 2023, lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are cheaper and more sustainable, reached prices as low as $53 a kilowatt hour. By 2025, Bloomberg predicts further drops with pack manufacturing costs falling another 20% or more by 2030. And it's not just cost. Battery production time has shrunk thanks to massive investments. In 2020, global lithium-ion battery production was 160 gigawatt hours. By 2023, it had soared to 750 gigawatt hours, with China producing 70% of that total. New factories in Europe and the U.S. are ramping up too with planned capacity for 2025 to hit over 1.5 terawatt hours, five times the demand. This means faster production and more EVs hitting our roads. Here's the game changer. Economies of scale and new tech like cell to pack designs are making batteries cheaper and quicker to produce. Plus, recycling is booming. 300 gigawatt hours of battery recycling capacity in 2023 projected to hit 1,500 gigawatt hours by 2030. And new sodium ion batteries and manganese rich batteries, which don't need rare minerals like cobalt and nickel, could cut costs an additional 20%. Friends, this is not a fad. This is a technological revolution. So let's recap. Since 2010, EVs have gone from niche to mainstream with iconic models like the Tesla Roadster and the Nissan Leaf paving the way. Sales are also skyrocketing. 14 million sales globally in 2023 with the USA hitting about 11.6% market share. Battery costs have crashed over 90% since 2010, and production is faster than ever, with new tech like LFP, sodium ion, and manganese-rich batteries pushing the costs even lower. EVs a passing fad? Bunk. Blasted. They're the future of transportation, and they're here to stay. Thanks for joining me here on Jim's EV Adventures for another episode of EV Bunk Blasters. If you're pumped about EVs, hit that like button. Subscribe to Jim's EV Adventures because most of you watching this are not subscribed. And drop a comment. Tell me what you want me to blast next in our Bunk Blasters series. Until next time, 
keep charging forward, and I'll see you out there or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody. See you all real soon. Mm -hmm.